So recall with Angus the Cocker Spaniel. So here we just, just as he looks up here, and he's going to break his attention away from these dogs, and this is when we call him just there. We call him in, and we reinforce him with the ball. What Tillman's going to do here is he's going to use another ball, and he's going to wait until Angus drops the ball that he's got before. So that was a little bit mistimed, so again we're going to cajole him uh, and ask him to come back in. We get his attention going, and as he drops the one ball that he has, he gets the other one. So he's still got the ball in his mouth, and Tillman is making the ball more interesting here. He drops Angus drops the ball, and he gets the other one. So we're playing with him around here, you can see the beagle in the background, and because we're engaging Angus, he is more likely to be interested in us, but we're also giving him the freedom here to go and greet other dogs. So at this point we won't call him because we're unlikely to be able to get him back at this point. His attention is drawn to the other dogs. If the other dogs move away, the long line is to stop him from going after them. So we're not going to call him at this point, we're going to wait until his attention breaks from the other dogs. He's going to say hi, and this is part of his. This is an important part of his socialisation as well. He goes and sees Fred, who's the old fella just coming in from the left. So he's a little bit pushy with Fred. You can see Fred trying to move away from him, just there. But he's not too bad, and Fred's been really patient with him, the old fella. So Fred's going to potter off. Just then, that's when I called him and encouraged him back in. Emma makes a big fuss of of him. He goes back in to see Fred again, and Fred's going to potter off, and Angus is going to, because Fred isn't interacting with uh, Angus, Angus is more likely to come back. So you see there, Tillman has tried to get him back and has not been successful, so we can try occasionally, but we don't want to try and not be successful, we want to try and be successful. There we've got him, so we, he gets his ball. When he pays attention to us, he gets his ball. So this is some live training, which is why it's a little bit kind of scattered gun, a wee bit hit or miss. But these things happen as you're when you're training your dog. Your dog. The Vizsla here has been super respectful, and the whole way here, I know he comes off camera, whole way here he was in a slack lead, so he's made that choice to come back to us because the Vizsla had left on his own. Tillman reinforces him with food, and here Emma gives him that slack and then stops him. Could have been a little bit easier there, but that's down to my coaching. And then when he breaks, we encourage him back in. So you can see there that the line isn't to reel him back in, it's to prevent him from going after the other dog or following the other dog. We're going to do the same again here, and this is really, really cool. So Angus looks at these dogs walking past. When he decides to break and come back to us, we call him back in and we reinforce him. We can now reinforce him by letting him go back out and play again. So this video, this part of the video, we see it twice, and because there's a few things to uh, walk uh, to talk about here, we're going to walk away, and as we walk away, we're encouraging Angus to come with us. So we are, we're using the distance between the two of us, or between us and, and Angus, to encourage him back in. I would only try this with dogs that that you know are cool, and because I know all these dogs are cool, um, we can allow Angus the, the freedom to do this. Or I can anyway, it's a personal choice for yourself. So he gets a little bit of a row from the collie here, just there. Okay, and I'm going to show you that again. And he stops, decides to break, goes and sees a black dog, goes to see the boxer, and then he stopped himself there. We've not stopped him because you can see all the slack on the leash there. He has a little bit of a look. We're encouraging him to come with us because of our distance and there. He breaks his attention from the other dogs, and he comes back to us. So we're going to see that again. And he's reinforced with food. So here again it is again. Collie comes in, he goes to say hi. We are walking away. Now our body movement is helpful here. I know Tillman and Elma have faced Angus. If we had faced away from him and faced our hips and our feet in the other direction, the direction we want to go, it would have been easier for Angus to listen to our body language or to... Uh, perceive our body language. Because we faced him here, it's almost as if we're encouraging him to stay. So he just gets a little bit, the collie comes in a little bit slowly, slows him down, and he gives a, just been too full on there, she turns around and tells him to behave. And he listens, which is cool. Again, slack lead the whole time. 
when his attention breaks from the other dogs, we call him back in and we reinforce him when he gets here, just here. And there it is there. Yeah, he's a good lad. So it's just some tips for recall.